They simply have no respect for us Americans and our country. They are betraying us right underneath our noses and are truly enjoying it. As these people gain stalk me, I see the glee in their eyes and the smirk on their faces. It is my belief that they really enjoy the fact that they are taking our money and committing terrorism acts of treason against us. When doing business with these controlled informants, we are empowering them with our money. They have been taking our jobs and businesses and betraying the American people with acts of terrorism and acts of treason. Under the Patriot Act, government-controlled informants are terrorists who have no rights to own or possess property, businesses, nor do they have the right to, to the custody of their own children. Jobs which are being exported to places like India, etc., are their reward for the domestic spying, domestic terrorism, which they are conducting while in the United States and other countries. Operation TIPS has been illegally in place under these methods for several decades. Many companies and corporations have been taken over illegally by the intelligence agencies right under the noses of the masses and the politicians. All United States Postal, UPS, FedEx, DHL, and many courier service companies, employees that I have met and observed are government controlled informants. All postal employees are guaranteed job security for life. So, for the intelligence agencies to take over the postal service, They've had to place a few of the controlled informants in position so that they could gang stalk the others who are not under their control. With these tactics, they drove some of the, some to the breaking point and they snapped, hence they went go, going postal. The intelligence agencies and the controlled informants committed plain and simple acts of terrorism. All doormen, maintenance workers, superintendents, management companies, which I have investigated and observed in the past several years are government controlled informants involved in these un unscrupulous and illegal activities. I have also found this to be true with airline and airport, airport employees. JetBlue is a prime example of what I state here. She's, yeah, JetBlue is, yeah, <laughs> they're just ugly company. It is my strong belief that the founder and ex-CEO Dave Nealman is a government-controlled informant. Several other companies and corporations are Con Edison and Time Warner Cable, from executives to repair personnel, Amtrak, MTA, PATH, bus drivers, etc., from administrative personnel to train crews to track repairs. Park departments throughout this country, from executive personnel to maintenance personnel, and trash removal companies such as Waste Management or another. This continues to occur throughout this country. Parking lot and garage companies and corporations have also fallen prey to these actions. Many security guards and security companies, home security companies, are also controlled under the intelligence agencies. Charity organizations, such as Salvation Army, Goodwill, Volunteers of America, and God's Love We Deliver, from administrative and personnel to thrift store employees, are another small example. Political organizations such as the American Civil Liberties Union are also sabotaged from within. It is my belief that Anthony Romero is a government controlled informant. All libraries, libraries from public, private, and university, etc., have been taken over with, with controlled informants in positions such as security, administration, and other aspects of duties. This is how they've been illegally censoring books from their collections. This is how they've been monitoring targeted persons, reading interests, and other behaviors such as computer usage and history. All computers have spyware linked to the intelligence agencies. They also have the ability to take over and control these computers by closing programs and other such activity. I have witnessed this firsthand. Me too. All professional fields have been infiltrated and often taken over by intelligence agencies using their controlled informants such as hospital workers, physicians, therapists, psychiatrists, ministers, prosecutors, public defenders, judges, police, firefighters, attorneys, paramedics, and several politicians and lobbyists. Police departments have many infiltrators in them. Many are foreigners as well as Americans who are betraying the confidence and trust of their fellow officers. They're also intentionally attempting to set up and often frame their fellow officers for crimes so that the feds can force them to become a government controlled informant. Wow. <clears throat> Still doing your thing? 
Yeah. <laughs> this is the secret and treasonous, treasonous building of the military police state. Students at universities, colleges, and trade schools are being targeted. Some are being recruited to be government informants under the guise of doing the right thing for the country to end crimes such as rape, murder, and drug use. After spending the past several decade, decades stiffening the penalties for drug use, possession, and other crimes, the intelligence agencies have utilized these penalties through their government-controlled informants to set up and often frame individuals for such crimes. Since college is where young adults start to experiment, the intelligence agencies are often forcing them to become government-controlled informants by lying, scaring, and terrorizing them. After 27 years of recruiting among college students, these adults are now career professionals. There are systematic methods used to put businesses out of business and sabotaging businesses from within. One such method is that a government-controlled informant will purchase a building and overinflate the rent so that the existing business cannot afford the large rent increase which drives the business under. Then they lower the rent to something more reasonable for the controlled informant that rents that same space. Another method used is to send a controlled informant building inspector to say that the building needs work and or is unsafe and they need to put up a scaffolding and or road construction is not construction is needed which hurts and drives down the business they often take over manufacturing companies and raise the minimum purchase order requirements which is not within the ability of the small business to afford slander is another tactic they will spread lies and rumors about the business or its owners often they will have controlled informants infiltrate a business in positions such as a cook bartender and sabotage the business from within with tactics like bad service. Eminent domain is another form of domestic terrorism used like, utilized by the intelligence agencies. Investigate all parties involved including the developers and you will see that it is all linked to the Pentagon and the intelligence agencies. I further challenge anyone to prove this information to be untrue. For those of you that are about to lose their home from, the, from, from a foreclosure, this is the work of the Pentagon and the intelligence agencies. The intelligence agencies have illegally taken over all banks and their government-controlled informants control and or money of the mortgage company. The agenda is for all of us to live in housing which is controlled under the military-industrial complex. This is one of many steps they're taking to achieve the military industrial complex, which is to own and control everything. HARP, EMP, Pulse, Directed Energy Weapons. Contrary to the propaganda and lies that the intelligence agencies and the military disclose to the public are extremely lethal. These weapons, which I've been bitching about, are used to take down airplanes and terrorize a targeted person over a period of time. These weapons come in the form of vibrations, which can be used to target a specific organ in the body, causing scar tissue to form, leading to death of that organ. These weapons can cause heart attacks and strokes. In my experience, there are approximately 100 plus vibrations that attack the heart. There are vibrations that cause panic attacks and sleep deprivation. There are vibrations which cause a targeted person to go mad and or crazy, as well as many other capabilities. For various reasons, not everyone can feel the vibrations from these weapons, as some people are more sensitive to smells than others, and some people are more sensitive to sound than others. I told you, we are made of light, color, and sound. Your DNA is made up of light, color, and sound. Who do you think has been studying you? However, a seismograph can record these vibrations and will prove that they are real and unnatural in nature. And what can be proven is that HARP, EMP, pulse, and directed energy weapons are in use, harmful and very lethal. All controlled informants are aware of these weapons, 
which makes them complicit to these acts of terrorism and murder. Congress is also aware of these weapons and has failed to ban them. Refer to H.R. 2977. These weapons are being used at retirement communities, hospitals, schools, and many other places. They are killing people. All that would, would show up on an autopsy is that the person died from natural causes, only because the degree of scar tissue caused by the weapon is overlooked and never fucking questioned. Anyone disputing that this, what is stated here must be presumed to be a government-controlled informant. This is how the intelligence agencies spread disinformation. Keep in mind that the intelligence agents have been able to keep this from the masses for the past 27 fucking years by dismissing and discrediting others who have tried to come forward as conspiracy theorists and brainwashing the masses with the idea that anyone saying conspiracy is a fucking loon. I am not a conspiracy theorist or a criminal or a terrorist. I am based on my, I base my information on facts, which I have gained through years of gathering evidence through my investigations and experiences. Evidence permits us to seek truth.